it's time. I don't know if you guys can read, but that's JDM, boy. It's just such a pretty view. I love this. There's the broken RSX, and there is VSC. Chris, dude. Doing me dirty, leaving this car. Evidently, while my friend Chris has had this car, I've loaned it to him because his RSX is dead. He claims that this car has, all the issues that it has had, have become much worse. Nope, you got this. I believe in you. It's not happening. Yeah, I don't know how this car is gonna run, but uh, to me, that just means it needs an engine swap. Okay, good. Woo! All right, let's go. Okay, if I don't rev this car for some reason, it dies. I, okay, it does. It does run terribly. Chris, I don't know what you did to this car. Maybe you took a nice steamy dump inside my engine, but this is not good. I have to. I'm literally revving at a stoplight. I look like such an idiot. And What the hell is this? What the heck? What the heck? That can't be good. Well, I really wanted to wash this car, but I can't actually drive it two feet that way. Just completely crapped out on me. <laughs> Which is okay, like I'm totally fine with all this because it's getting a new motor soon anyways. But this sucks because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> this is not how I wanted this video to go. There you go. What the? You, you, you didn't do that again? That that tells me that there's one cylinder there that's not undergoing compression, i.e. Some big shit's going on, I think. So this motor is done. Possibly. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay. Here's a list of services. Tow. Select which one best describes the reason. Tow. For battery problems. Tow. If you need lockout service, press four. <laughs> God dang it. If you're in need of towing, press five. There it goes. If you're lost one. Okay. You need towing service. Correct? Yes. Yes. I see you have multiple vehicles on this policy. <laughs> I think we're gonna be doing the motor swap a lot sooner than we expected now. So are you gonna... <sighs> That's it. It's like day, boys. It is like day. <laughs> Bye, buddy. You guys, like, screw that kid. I freaking hate him. Well, going back to the original point of this video. We are still going to, even though the SC is down, we're still gonna test fit the wheels. And before we do anything, I just wanna say, my goal with this car, I, I built my fair share of functional, trackable, drivable cars. Now, with even with a little bit of functionality in mind, I wanna do something stupid.
dude this right here is everything i wanted it to be these are 18 by 10 and a half plus 30 all the way around what i need to figure out today is what size tire can i run you guys might not know this and i didn't really talk about this last video but i did in fact potentially i do have a potential turbo sponsorship which means the sc will be making power and i need to see if i can fit a 295 in the rear to possibly potentially grip with 600 horsepower or something like that so dude i cannot i it is unbelievable to me this the way that this fits like this is great i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to do a maybe a little bit of stretch on the front or i might actually be able to do a pretty meat meaty setup and roll or pull the fenders and my favorite part about this is ew. my favorite part about this is this is just wide enough like the flare is just wide enough to where i could easily fit going all the way down let's see if i can actually am i all the way down oh i'm not all the way down now i am i could easily fit a 285 or a 295 in the back and that that is my goal i want a nice meaty grippy tire for the back i'm sorry but these are my favorite wheels of all time and i know it looks a little it definitely looks a little weird right now without any tire on it but dude freaking unreal it's super windy but it's also going to be a little bit lower than it is ah, no come back come back come back my least favorite part about this was this stupid spacer I'm so glad I can get this. Now, in the rears, the spacers don't really matter. It's when you have spacers in the front that really, really hurt you. Because you, whenever you turn your wheels, they you have what's called scrub. The rears are okay, and I'll probably keep the spacers if I have like a drift wheel. Because um, I will drift this car. So I'll probably keep the spacers. Maybe just use these wheels for drifting. I don't know. I'm probably going to sell them, actually. But who knows? God, this car just looks so damn good. And if you guys don't know what these are... These are NK NTO3 Plus M's. I have them on my Subaru. I still have them in my garage, but they were 18 by nine and a half. These are an inch wider with a lower offset. Oh my God, so good. Like just look how aggressive that looks. And then go over to here and it's just like, oh wow, how boring. This video is not over yet, but I seriously want to give the hugest shout out and the hugest thank you to NK Wheels for always supporting me and help me on the channel. Guys, NK wheels are awesome. I've always loved them. The reason I loved these wheels originally, the reason why I got these wheels is because, you know, it's a very unique wheel. Like, you know, when I when I bought these wheels uh, initially, you know, four years ago for my Subaru, nobody ran these wheels. And I've just appreciated that about this wheel ever since. And it's, I don't know, it, it makes me feel different. You know, I don't get the same Volks everybody gets. I don't get the same work wheels everybody gets the same SSRs, like this is just, it's, they're not that expensive, but they're not cheap either. Like just such a nice looking wheel. And I personally am so excited about it. I know I'm just ranting on and on and on, but this is the greatest thing ever. And I just want to say huge thank you to NK Wheels. You guys are the bomb. <laughs> uh, I just can't wait till this thing goes sideways and just skirt, skirt. my butt like every time I downshift I can feel it in my I can feel it in my butthole it's in my butthole I'm so sorry guys it sounds so bad so we will make a long story short here <laughs> um that day went absolutely zero like I had planned on but nonetheless it's still okay i'm not upset at all because i still have the one jay-z the lexus like seized up i don't know how much i can't remember how much i touched on this video but the lexus motor like seized up something mechanically is very wrong with the 2j ge and um yeah so that's not going to be working anymore so we're going to have to do that a lot sooner than i thought after that i went to a meet met met a couple bros 
and then drove around some twin turbo mustang wanted to race me and i was like nah fam like i ain't about that life no thanks and then i, I did a racer flyby and then left but anyways the, that was my day oh, i know now I have to do laundry and edit, but that is gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It went very, very differently than anything I could have ever imagined, but that was a day in my life. So congratulations, you, you, you survived. You survived a day in daddy's life. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And if you wanna watch more videos, wait until the end, those annotations, you can click on those and you can watch more content, more awesome videos that I work so hard on for my bros out there, my bros and my ladies out there. But anyways, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna get off, I'm gonna start editing this video. We'll have some fun. Peace out and be victorious. I can't believe, I can't believe, I, I actually, I actually blew up another car. Why am I so good at blowing up cars? It's all, it's like, it's, it's like that's all I can do, dude. <laughs> I suck.